Hey, this is JD, also known as SCB Prototype, here at RTX 2015. Ladies of the know, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. We've been through this already, haven't we? Yeah, we've done this before. <laughs> and you guys are veterans now. Yeah. I was wearing a ridiculous costume last time. What were, what were you wearing yesterday? Was, oh no, last time that we... Last time, yeah, you were... Uh, was Lady Bab. Yeah, I remember she was that. my x-ray. I wish I got a picture of that, I missed out. That's all right, I was very green. <laughs> And on the far chair is Ashley Jenkins. How are you feeling today? Good, excited. My voice is starting to go a little bit, yeah. I think. Yeah, that was the same thing here last night. We hung out at recess and we had plenty of Pac-Man to play and, and Jenga. But oh yeah, the big cool. Jenga? The big Jenga. Yeah, the big Jenga's cool. So anyway, um, you guys are the brainchilds for The No. Um, and since uh, since last year, you guys have been doing a lot of the nerd topics as well as gaming and stuff like that. And you acquired uh, Funhouse also do take some of the grunts of the weight. Um, what do you how do you guys go about like sorting out topics that you want to do? We have a thing every morning. I was just about to say we talked about this earlier, but we didn't because this video is an autonomous video. <laughs> um, but we do this thing every morning, basically, where we just come in and talk about like what we've heard that morning. Like, mm -hmm. have you heard such and such thing? And then Ashley will be like, No, I haven't heard that. Like, oh my god! And it gives you a chance to like tell your story and like flesh out how you're gonna approach the story at the same time as like informing her what story that we're gonna be, like I'm gonna be covering that day and then she'll tell me like, oh, that's crazy. Did you hear a blah, blah, blah? I'm like, oh, no, and then she tells me her thing. So yeah. it's like a little like, it's a pitch meeting, but it's like cloaked in like coffee talk every morning. Pretty much, and yeah, we're, we're, we all discuss all the cool stuff that's going on, what we're most excited about, and then figure out what we each want our stories to be. Yeah. Have you two ever fought over one topic? Right, we wrote Fallout ta and tandem stories. Yeah. So um, we like, the day, that Fallout 4 was revealed. I believe we were so excited and also everything else that would have possibly been news just cleared out. Like yeah. there, were, there were tumbleweeds. No one wanted to be near the Fallout 4 reveal. And so uh, we were discussing with Funhouse and we were like, Meg and I were super excited about the reveal and they actually had these like things they were disappointed about and so we ended up both writing stories about Fallout 4. We were super excited about it and they were like, this is what we don't like. Yeah, and we re we released them together. So it's like Fallout Four, best game ever. Fallout Four, disappointing. Yeah, will it suck? <laughs> and we were just had a we had a really yeah. good time like writing them, like really from opposite perspectives because you know as gamers we all have Everyone our own opinions. Has, yeah, as much as like the internet does, we all have opinions. Absolutely, and the, the coolest part actually about that story is not only were we writing a story and Funhouse writing a story, we were both writing the same story. So normally one of us will just take top to bottom a script. Mm -hmm. I think it was the first and only time we've split a script um, that we were both working on at the same time because time was of the essence. Everyone was going to be talking about this. So we actually wrote a, a good chunk of the story before the trailer even premiered, then filled out everything about the trailer and then immediately shot our story. So yeah. it was really, it was really fun because it was like, there was like one point where I was writing and I'm like, I got the vaults. Ash was like, I've already finished the vaults. I'm like, fuck, I'm halfway through the vaults. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> scrolling and deleting and like, go, go, go. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really fun actually. Has there ever been a chance where you guys were writing the script and we were like, um, Funhouse covered that. Did you get the memo at all? Um, not really. I think we're pretty aware of what's on the channel. Yeah, we have a lot of, like, they're in LA, but mm -hmm. we all work on the internet anyway. Okay. Sometimes we'll write to each other instead of talking. We're, like, right next to each other, and oh, sometimes yeah. it's just easier to, to message. And so, really, like, we know about, you know, whatever Funhouse is going to write as soon as they uh, decide what they want to write about. And if we've already covered it, we can mention that. But we also, we all work on the same channels, so mm -hmm. we have a really good idea of what's been covered and what everyone's working on. Yeah, I think the coolest part, though, about the channel, I think one of the coolest parts about having brought Funhouse on is we have so many different perspectives, kind of like the Fallout thing. Like, Fallout, Funhouse may have covered <laughs> something, like Fallout, but if we feel like we didn't cover it in the way we wanted to, or it wasn't covered like in a perspective we thought, like it's we're always free to like put our own spin on it as well. So it's been really, really cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We like what we do. Yeah. <laughs> so what's what's in store for the future? I Got mean... a, a new show that is launching um, on the the Rooster Teeth website on Wednesday called Free Play that Meg has been developing. Ooh. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's a variety show, um, and Ryan, Ashley, and I kind of just go nuts. And <laughs> um, I think Ashley didn't realize like how nuts we were gonna go until she saw like milk being set up. And they, 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 they pretty much drowned themselves in milk yeah. the other day. And Ashley was like, I'm cool. I'll get you on the next one. <laughs> like, so. I, was, I was like, I've got to go do something. I'll be over here and just like 
hightailed it. Yeah, so uh, we're we're planning our revenge already um, for a gauntlet that Ashley's gonna have to run. Uh, it's gonna be wonderful, so stay tuned for that. Definitely oh, yeah. announcing that. But um, in addition to free play, we're also, Ashley helped design this gorgeous set that we have, um, that we're revealing today. Finally, it's been built for like six months, so we we're finally so get to excited to finally be able to, to yeah. do something with it. It's really cool, but um, yeah, Ash had a huge hand in like, uh, that and the visual identity for the No is changing as well. So really big changes for the No coming out. Um, so we're debuting them today and they will start tomorrow. Last year you were talking about your, your cosplay and your tumbler and pillows. Has, yeah. Has that, how, how's that been going along? Um, I don't make any geeky pillows anymore. Aww. I just don't have the time. I wish I did. We um, keep her very busy. Yeah, but it's happy busy. Like I, I, I do wish I had time to make pillows, but I'm doing other things that are fun and enjoyable, <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it. I made half of a quilt, though. That's exciting. <laughs> I got a half of my two-sided quilt done. So. Is it a very narrow quilt? It's actually really big. It's um, a pixel art quilt. So I just had to find, uh, I put like a, a boo pixel art into Excel and then I just used that to like make my quilt. <laughs> and I did it during laser team because the guys were gone all the time. So it was a great thing to like keep you busy. So, so really we maybe should, we just need to make another movie. Right, another get movie. Another I'll get the other half finished. Okay. Well, what, are, what side projects do you have going on? I work pretty much exclusively on the no. Okay. That's like that's my baby. That's pretty much all the time. I'm either um, I'm either you know checking the comments or scouring for news or um, you know thinking of ways that we can tweak something or how we can approach something different and and doing that. So that's it takes pretty much all of my time. Like yeah. we'll work. We're um, we're gonna work on some new shows now that we're gonna have a new set to work on. We're not mm -hmm. you know restricted to green screen green screen and. Uh, so we'll we'll get some more stuff going, but this is like getting this new like refresh has been the big thing. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize really how autonomous the No is, and it, it is really a brain of its own. Yeah, I mean we write, shoot, and edit every single thing and post it all, but um, Ashley is really like the driving force behind any changes we make, any visual changes we make, um, format changes we make. So she's doing all sorts of research. She has like spreadsheets. She taught me how to use analytics. So. <laughs> um, She's definitely like, I'll come in and I'll be like, oh, my video's doing well. She's like, exactly. At this time, it had this many views. And at this hour, it had this many. So she knows everything about everything. So I'm, like, I'm sure that keeps you very busy. I'm like, I'm like yeah, it's tracking about 20% above average. It's yeah. doing really, really well. <laughs> She's got like, basically, I, I fully believe that one day I'll come in and Ashley's desk will just be like a board with like yarn connecting <laughs> pictures together and like just spreadsheets. What games are you guys playing right now? We have a show, um, I believe fully, that actually developed the show to just give us time to game, and Pretty that's much. called Game Club, the Patch Game Club. I call it the Patch Video Game Book Club, but it is the Patch Game <laughs> I Club. Hate that game I know so I much. Love it. She only does it because she knows that I hate it, because books are nowhere to be seen. I know, I don't love have it. instruction booklets anymore. I know. There's not even a manual I can use for the book part. You know no. how many times I had to read the ESRB? called the Google. Um, so yeah, so we have the Patch Game Club where we just play a different game every week. Um, this week's game is Massive Chalice, which yeah. I haven't gotten into yet. It's a double fine game. It's like, like a, it's an RTS. Think something like XCOM, except if it was fantasy based instead of sci-fi. So that's our game for this week. So every week we, uh, we pick out a game that either one of us suggested or that the community suggested. They all go into a big pool and then we draw one out randomly and that's the next game we play. That's how we decide. It's really great because we get to play a lot of stuff we wouldn't think of normally or a game mm -hmm. that we didn't really know about. And we get a lot of like cool perspectives into genres that we never experienced. Yeah, so what was it? This cat is how lady? The cat lady yeah. is this super dark, uh, is a puzzle game. But it was, it basically starts off with this lady committing suicide. Yeah, it was like, incredibly and, dark. And it just gets weirder from there. Yeah. And it's a game that I would never have experienced Absolutely. without Game Club. And that's like, that's the case with a lot of games. Yeah, they so go far right we've had, under the radar under the yeah. big title. And actually, Ashley skewered the, uh, skewered, you skewered them. You scoured the comments and um, put in a bunch of games that we never would have thought of. I fully only put things in there that I'm like, I've played this before, no one's gonna <laughs> be good after my sunset fiasco. Um, but Ash is always like, she's fearless. She'll be like, I don't know, could be shit. Let's put it in the thing. <laughs> like, let's put it in the cylinder. It's always fun to play. It's yeah. always a good experience to have had. Yes. <laughs> Throw it in the fire, let's see what burns. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. So we're gonna wrap this up just about. So where can we find both of you guys on the internet? YouTube.com slash no. And the no.tv. 
Nailed it. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you so much for uh, for sitting down with us, yeah. guys. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. So this is JD, also known as SD Prototype, signing out. <laughs>